Shalom. I wanted to just jump on here real quick and do a very brief video. Uh, today I was uh, looking at some videos uh, of people that uh, I admire and follow. One of them was uh, Dave Rubin uh, from the Rubin Report, who I <clears throat> have a great deal of respect for. And he was talking about uh, hate speech. And, uh, uh, and I totally agreed with what he had to say. But it, it got my own, you know, my own mind to working. And sometimes when my mind starts doing it, I, I simply have got <laughs> to express it. So I, th I, I really needed to get on here and, and give my, at least it's my opinion, of course. Uh, but it's my opinion in this particular case is based upon uh, fact, the fact of the U.S. Constitution. Uh, I don't know where you live in the world, but if you live in the United States of America, uh, which I do, uh, we have a uh, law document here that was f uh, a founding law document called the U.S. Constitution. And in the United States Constitution of America, uh, according to uh, the found this foundational law document that governs our nation, there is no such thing as hate speech. Hate speech is a relatively modern term coined by a coalition of bodies, be they left, right, or in the middle, it doesn't matter. Uh, these, these bodies wish to curtail any kind of speech that disagrees with that coalition's narrative. However, according to the First Amendment of the United States Bill of Rights in the United States Constitution, speech, any kind of speech, uh, with very, very few exceptions, for example, shouting fire in a crowded room when there is no fire. Uh, but any kind of speech, uh, except for those very, very rare exceptions, is fully protected and guaranteed, along with the freedom of religious expression, freedom to assemble, freedom to openly petition the government, and the freedom of the press. Now, hate speech is not covered by the founding law of the land document because its definition is ill-defined. It is a product of pure speculation and subjectivity. There is nothing objective about hate speech. It is purely in the mind of the individual what is or isn't hate speech. It doesn't exist according to the law of the land. Now, those who hate the founding law of the land document or any of its statutes, are free to peacefully express their hate for it thanks to that self-same document. They are free to hate if they wish to do so, but they are not free, listen to me, they are not free to curtail the free speech of others they may disagree with. Agree or disagree? Comment below. And until I see you next time, shalom.